We have three signatures in our wine, signature collections, and the first one is stoneware, which I'm going to be talking to you about during my presentation. Um, next is home decor, my absolute favorite part of what I do. And then last is our sense of home line, and uh, that's all of our fragrances that we have in warmer. So let me start with the home decor. Now you can see my display up here, and it looks nice. Do you all agree it looks nice? Mm -hmm. Well, I want to enhance it a little bit. When you decorate your home, it's adding those accessories that really, you know, bring out your personality. So I'm going to start over here. Do you see the black architectural plaque? Mm -hmm. um, this is a pretty contemporary item. And, um, wait, put this down. You can use it anywhere in your home. This is a, a, an art piece um, that you can use on your wall. You can also use it this way, maybe on a table or something like that, that you can layer things. You can also spray paint it. If, you, if it's not your color, feel free to get a can of spray paint out. I don't do any of my own spray painting. I give it to my husband. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I want to change this around a little bit. And um, again, contemporary piece. Do you agree? Yes. Well, I want to add something that's ooh, not exactly contemporary. And um, I'm going to add, I love this. Now, if you were, um, you probably already seen my kit, but look at it. Isn't it adorable? Um, and this is just to enhance it a little bit. Um, who would like to volunteer to come here? Valerie Meese. <laughs> yes. Now, this is very simple for you to do. We are going to take this plaque. I'm going to take this print, and on the back of it, it has the little hook. I'm going to take one cable tie, and I'm going to attach it. Thank you, dear. Oh, I need it. Oh, the other one. I'm going to uh, first go down in the center here, not too hard, right? Now remember, girls, where do I do this? Right in front of them, right at my party. Now you can use your body parts if you need to. <laughs> I have them to use. So as I'm doing this, I'm doing it right in front of all the guests at my party. And you're, you know, the goal is that it actually works, which it does. It just, <laughs> of course, this is, this is the time I decide to video it. Is it videoing? Oh, Lord, you have me on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. It's going to be on the sky drive, too. All right, what style do you think I just turned this into? Country. I think it looks a little country French to me, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what I was going for. So you can mix your style. So taking a contemporary piece and turning it a little bit country French. All right, fine, it's crooked. Is it crooked? Yeah. A little bit, but it's okay. Yeah, just tilt your head. <laughs> now, you're going to notice, oh, it's really crooked. You're going to notice this is a black and white print, but a touch of what color? Red. Yeah. Mm. Now, who knows the rule when it comes to adding um, color into the room? How many times should you have it? Three. At least three times in the room. If you add it just one time, it kind of looks like a mistake that you put it there, you know, accidentally, or you just really didn't know what you were doing. So um, three times is always good. Once you add it three times, it really looks like it belongs, and it can be more than three. And I'm going to give you a ticket for participating and answering my questions. Um, next, I just love that guy. Oh, look at him. He's a little oh, yeah. pig. <laughs> and uh, of course, a little bit of red in this as well. Now, when you're using prints in your home, you can use them, of course, on your wall. You can do a horizontal look. You can do a vertical look if you choose to. Or you can use them on surfaces by adding an easel. I'm going to use, this is actually our recipe holder. And uh, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to place it right on the easel. And I want you to notice how it's kind of leaning back. Uh, I want to show you a little trick. If you don't want your prints leaning back when you're using an easel, take a block of anything. This is just a piece of styrofoam and you're going to place it behind and then it sits up nice and straight for you. Which would have been nice if that would have done that, but whatever. Um, so very simple, easy to do in your own home. Okay, next, we're going to continue on. I have just a basket of little goodies here. Um, I think accessorizing it has a lot to do with the theme that you're in and the color that you're adding. So I'm going to add a couple little towels and these little guys because they're so cute. Um, so the way I'm going to start is I'm going to take a red towel and this is just a kitchen towel. As you can see here I'm working in a what area? If you look at all the items I've chose it's what? Kitchen. It's a kitchen. 
So I'm gonna bring that red down a little bit by just adding a red kitchen towel. And then I'm gonna add my two little guys, which I love. Uh, I'm gonna add one right there. And then one right here. And this is right on top of our hospitality set that I'm gonna be sharing with you how you're gonna get that free and how our hostess tonight is gonna to get that absolutely free. All right, next I wanna introduce the theme throughout the entire area. So I'm gonna add him, isn't he cute? Um, this is actually a cork board. You can put little text in it and little notes and recipes, but then he's all covered up and why would you do that? So don't. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna add him right there. And then I just wanna really, really um, bring up the space. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna introduce you to our stoneware. Who knows what this is called? Bean pot. Oh gosh, I have a crowd that's heard of the bean pot. Where did my tickets go? Um, typically, you well, you can get more and pass them up. Yeah. Typically, when I do a party, I always do <laughs> participation tickets. I give my hostess the tickets, and she passes them out, so I am not doing it uh, during the party presentation. But this is a bean pot. Now, how many of you own a bean pot? Very good. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> it typically doesn't happen during your party. So who could tell me what they know about the bean pot that they already own? Yes. It's um, microwave safe. Microwave Wash. safe. Good. Who else? Freezer. You can make more than one thing in it. You can make many things <laughs> more than one thing. Who Good else? Washer. Decorate with it. Pardon me? Hot or cold. Hot or cold. Decorate with it. You can use it to decorate. Dishwasher, freezer safe. Dishwasher and freezer safe. You put anybody else? And serve in it. You can cook and serve. Yes. Now, what I, what I like to tell everyone that comes to my party is this is what I enjoy most. I prepare my food in it, I cook my food in it, I serve my food out of it, I store my food in it, and I start the same process with the same food the next day, because it goes right in the fridge, comes right back out, right back in the oven or wherever microwave, heat back up, and then you can use it again. So it's not like you have to wash it. One vessel will do all those things, and it's very pretty looking, don't you agree? Now I have a lot of, um, or some of my, um, and I'm telling you this as designers, hostesses, or customers that will say, oh, I want one, Angela, but I, I, I don't have anywhere to store it. It doesn't need to be stored. Don't you think this is beautiful? Well, if you want to leave it out on your countertop, you can do that, and, um, and it could just sit all nice by itself, or you can be an Angela, because I can't leave anything sit by itself. I, I just can't do it. Um, and so I'm going to add just a little, look at this in a cute little <laughs> kitchen towel, because what do I have going on here? Red. Red. I have black, white, and red, so I want to carry out that theme. So I'm just going to dangle my little towel. Um, this is a great um, insert that you could put in. Do you all know what this is for? Anybody can tell me? Hot plate. Hot, hot plate? Hot plate? A lot of people fat. think that. It drains the fat, so you can put a roast, or you can put your chicken, a whole chicken right on it. The fat will drain out. Hold what else? Um, if you take that and you heat it, heat it. Take the bean pot out of the basket. Put bean. it in the basket. It will keep your rolls warm if they're red. Oh. Do you hear that video, people? I never heard that before. Okay, so you heat this first. It can go right in your oven. Get it all nice and hot. Oh, I cannot wait to share this at my party. All right, we have just added this particular item on everyone's ticket. So you heat this up in the oven, maybe like 375 degrees for, I'm saying, 20 minutes to a half hour. We good? And you put it right here in a basket. This basket, it works best in, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but if you have your own basket at home, I guess you can give it a try. But anyway, so it's right there, and then you put a nice napkin, right? Like or some kitchen towel or whatever. Yeah, but napkins are nice. See? Nice little napkin and wrap up your rolls and it'll keep your rolls nice and hot. Okay, this is $14 that you're going to add to everyone's order. And a second. Oh, it's just it's eight. eight. It's eight. It's eight now. They're both eight. They're eight now. The fairy and the white one, they're eight. Did you hear that video land? <laughs> <laughs> they're eight. Really? Yes. Yeah. They're in the book. Notice. I have two. You just saw that book like I did. Now you can get two. I have enough time. Um, Okay, so we're going to put our little, isn't that cute, right there, and then we're just going to add our lid right here. Now, uh, another nice thing about our stoneware, and it's any color of stoneware, is you can write on it. You can write on it with a black Sharpie permanent marker. See how I wrote this? 
It says it actually says sale twenty percent off. We are in the month of July, and all stoneware is on sale for twenty percent off all month. But you can write what's in the bean pot, you know, chicken and rice or, or whatever you made. And if you're bringing it to a party with you, they'll eat yours because they'll know actually what it is compared to all the other mystery things um, in the room. So we're going to add that right here and make it nice and beautiful looking. Next, I want to add, um, I like to, um, and if you've ever been to my house before, which is over there, um, I, I really like to just have those little special touches so look at these cute little forks these are plastic that we do use but I wash them um, this is one of our candle holders in a nice thick glass um, it does come with a metal insert that I have removed um, this is just beans I filled it up with some beans it can be filled up filled up with anything smooth okay and I'm going to take these and if I'm having uh, a party. If I'm entertaining, I can place them just like this. And you can spend more time than I'm spending to make them nice and straight. Get your level out. Okay, I'm kidding about the level. If you get your level out, yeah, you need to get busy doing something else. But anyway. Um, so we're going to put off. Isn't this a durable idea? How many of you have seen this before? Here I am. Video Land, this is my meeting, and they've all seen it because it's right there on my kitchen table. I have it. Yes, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, so uh, when I do this at my party, they are in awe. All of your stuff might be beautiful, but you can enhance it even further. Is it, we're women, isn't that why we, you know, put makeup on or do our hair or anything like that? We just, we're already beautiful. We just like to enhance ourselves just a wee bit more. 